lol <laughs> hi i'm major freak again <laughs> now with the third part of the epilogue actually i want to make one epilogue video containing an epilogue and an experiment but now i ended up to make like two epilogue videos uh only with my words smashing at your face uh probably not very sensible but at least i got it all out if somebody says what did you say in video two i say well look at the epilogue i made it before i even published it so don't cry don't punish me don't write anything bad about me uh yeah okay well i'm always open to critics and uh anyways so i ended up talking too much this is something you can always accuse me probably uh, always guilty of um <coughs> okay oh i forgot one important thing i am very not only sorry for or oh, this is belong to the epilogue i am sorry not only for my language for the americans which they or the yeah, british people well the british might be offended that i'm not talking british english although i'm a european but uh, that is uh, due to other reasons usually you learn uh, british english in school here uh, in germany um <coughs> but uh, not only the language for the germans which said it's too difficult and the american americans maybe say it's, it's too stupid hello go to school little fucker um but uh, i have to apologize for my complete confusion i am so confused i don't know uh, when i saw the videos um, I, they are partially partially i can uh, excuse myself uh, because i was impaired uh, in a way i'm not usually not impaired but uh, even if it's only like one fourth normally then i must admit especially to the people who know me directly uh, especially to my friends I have now um, I really I confess that it might be that it's not always completely easy to follow what I am saying and thinking maybe there are sometimes little really little gaps in my thinking where I do not fill uh, the right words in to 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 have the other people uh, recognize where I'm going to exactly Okay, this was important for me that I can say this. Uh, so I'm sorry to all my friends. I am sorry for being myself. Well, I'm not sorry for being myself, but I'm sorry that I uh, make it so difficult for you and maybe you get headaches from listening to me and stuff like that. <coughs> okay, so... Um, now I am finally conducting an experiment, but it is not alcohol yet at all. But it is experiment. What I'm doing, it's, it is experiment related, and uh, so it is related to an experiment I already did. This is why I want to do it. It is not scientific uh, regarding alcohol uh, abuse research, but it is um, important for myself. I thought uh, this would mm, a possibility of what I can do, uh, and. Uh, I have to do it quite uh, fast so that uh, my memory is not so bad about it. But uh, as I have video footage, one might say I could have taken some more time. But uh, I want to do it now. <coughs> um, and hey, now to prove my sloppiness, which I already stated, this is. I will just empty something which you might have seen someday. And this is. That can. It's still standing here, although it's days ago. Well, it's still smelling like Jim Beam. I'm gonna empty it into here because uh, I feel it's so toxic. I don't believe that it's so toxic. I will drink this, but I won't drink it today because I will not drink today at all. I'm completely sober, um, and I will really not drink it at all today. Well, I'm only mean alcohol. So this is the pump thing. I'm empty it. Oh, it's well, not in the square. Maybe. It's it's already came out there partially. Now I'm filling water in it and shaking it, cleaning it again, shaking it, emptying it. Whoa, it smells like Jim Beam. Uh, if you don't want to drink, it's not always the smell you want to smell. Um, now I'm filling again some water in it, and now I'm going to pump through. So that 
this a lot. No. Well, it doesn't smell, it doesn't taste like alcohol at all anymore. I just tested it on the face. Okay, so now we have uh, these two things separated and they should be alcohol free. At least if there's alcohol in it, then it's not as much as like in an orange juice or something like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do exactly the same thing but with my favorite mixture drink. Um, which is unfortunately Coca-Cola. Um, here. Um, to have a result which is comparable uh, to the one I did before, um, I have to take warm Coke. This is something I would usually never touch, especially not for an alcoholic drink. Both not true. I would touch it, <laughs> uh, even if not. Uh, even if alcoholic, but I would strongly, strongly uh, try to avoid it. And I'm trying to do this exactly same thing with the Coke. Um, I just want to see if this substance has maybe uh, similar harms, because we learn that Coke is dangerous, Coke is like uh, eating your stomach or stuff like that. Um, I just want to test if this is worse or the other one is worse, especially where you got like sometimes it's like this uh, floating something from uh, through your nose when you uh, uh, try to drink and like oh, had to burp or whatever uh, or somebody pushed you from behind and uh, you had all this drink in your nose. I don't know what was worse. Was it the coke or was it the um, gin beam? So this has no scientific uh, relevance for... Um, the expl exploration of the abuse of alcohol, but still, it is important for you to see how maybe harmful um, uh, harmful it can be for you. Now I load it up again, like I did last time. It's for some. not spraying so good. I think it has a problem with coke. I think it would rather be to my disadvantage because it's not so good to spray. I will just tell us, uh, show you again that it does spray something. Wow. <laughs> it smells like summer. <laughs> That's great. Boy. When I thought about doing it, I thought you probably will not smell anything, but this smells like uh, Coke ice. Wow, it's great. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm trying to uh, apply this substance to my face. And I, I try to do it the same way I did it uh, the first time. Okay, and I will start right now. Well, I think I can already stop. It's not... no problem. <coughs> I... Whoa, it, whoa, it even tastes good. I'll try it again in the other one. <coughs> okay. Wow. I think, wow. I did not think it was so expensive. And <laughs> I forgot the last. Great. Okay. I thought this would be painful. <laughs> I thought it would be really painful to do this. But it's not at all. On the, it's, it's great. It's really great. I have like a little burning in the eye. It's, it's no comparison. I thought this... Um, you said it's acid in it. And, and like uh, this carbonated water uh, it makes well, it's nothing, it's great. It's, uh, well, even if it's only spraying half of it. <coughs> no comparison. 
It's a great feeling. It's really a great feeling. Okay. So, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to say now. I, I made my point completely clear. This substance which is supposed to do a harm to you. Well, it's, it's more alcohol related than I ever thought. This substance which is supposed to do harm, where you learn, oh, don't take it, little, um, little boys and girls. Um, it's so nice to your face. Maybe it has even positive effects um, to like removing wrinkles and stuff like that. At, at least it has a wonderful taste. It's wonderful. It's really a wonderful thing. <coughs> so, as I'm not able to do anything anymore right now, there's something I wanted to tell you in the epilogue um, be, uh, regarding the um, scientific approach. Uh, I did not uh, state clear enough what alcohol did to my eyes. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't think that I, I have like built up stamina for my first uh, experiment. This is a complete different thing, and it's it's wonderful. Um, I, maybe I'm I'm going to sleep today like in in a fog of coke. Uh, I would love to. Um, just have to build some device which always like puts it back up again. Uh, oh, don't know why I didn't do it before. More often. Well, actually, I did in school. Remember, like when in summer I took some, but un with without sugar, uh, coke and stuff like put on my head. People thought that it was not good. I don't understand them. Uh, especially now I don't understand them in, uh, in the aftermath. Um, okay, but what I wanted to say was uh, what, what, uh, what was strange for me. I, you get it from the, um, from the video. You see it. I did not really say this. It was impossible. It was like this eye thing, Jim Beam in the eye, it was like uh, it, it. It was like like uh, like it, it hurt first. It hurt it hard, and then when you closed your eyes, it's like, uh, but when you tried to open them, then it was bad. Then it was really bad, and it was like cutting you in the eye. Oh, that's why I so that, uh, tried to open the eye, but it wasn't possible. Uh, and surprisingly, like that was something I, I said uh, several times. Uh, then when you opened your eye. Uh, then uh, after a certain time, suddenly oh the pain is it's, it's, it's getting better and it's only a really short amount amount of time and said okay I'm I'm uh, I, I don't look very nice but I, this pain is gone and it's not cutting anymore so um, maybe somebody has an idea why this is uh, in in this uh, special. Uh, and I thought it would like be more gradually like it's getting better. I have to admit it's getting better all the time, yes, uh, but not so fast. Okay. <laughs> well, at least I finished. Uh, I managed to, to fill this third video too. Well, actually, the second one wasn't full and the third one isn't full either. But I think, although I didn't want wanted it today, I made my point quite clear that you should abuse it wisely. Um, and that there are big differences between supposedly harmful substances, substances which are great for refreshment, maybe a little bit sticky, that is something which I just experienced now, uh, and it was a little bit different with this Jim Beam, it was more like, oh, a nice smell today, um, and all the alcoholics were following me the whole day, <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about my friends, <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> And <laughs> okay, so um, I'm finished with this three-parted epilogue. <laughs> I am such uh, an, an unstopping talking machine. I don't know why I talked so much. I just wanted to make something clear. But now I, I think this is not something really uh, important which I did in this epilogue, but the uh, pure existence of it gives me the possibility to say here I already said this is not this way and I, there I said this and I did not want to offend anybody so and maybe I end with if I offended anybody else which I did not mention yet uh, I said it in the first but if I offended maybe in this epilogue it was not uh, meant so I'm a very very peaceful and friendly person so uh, now I think I will not make any more videos uh, well at least a complete different topic so I say goodbye, Major Freak dismisses you again, and now I'm very short in time, so uh, see you all. Maybe, or maybe even not.